Infertility is a growing problem for young couples today. One out of seven couples has difficulty conceiving, and that means in six to 12 months time of trying, they have not yet conceived. There can be several different causes. They run into the categories of ovulation problems, or two structural problems, or obviously sperm problems. And fourth, thyroid and other general health conditions can also influence fertility. Now, fortunately, we had so many advances in fertility treatments that 60 to 70% of these problems can be overcome by medical treatment. But even today, 30 to 40% of them fall into a category called unexplained. And unexplained means just that. The doctors say, we don't find anything wrong. We don't know why you're not getting pregnant. Well, some leading researchers today are coming to the conclusion based on a number of studies that stressed couples, highly stressed couples, are much less likely to conceive. Even when they're going through IVF, their IVF is less likely to take if they're under high stress. So why? Researchers think, of course, that hormonal effect of cortisol, the stress hormone, and epinephrine might interfere with the body's reproductive hormone production. And also, it can be that some kinds of proteins or blood flow even to the woman's uterus may interfere during stress with implantation. So what can be done about it? Now, fortunately, or unfortunately, it's not quite as easy as just saying, relax, you've got to learn how to relax. That really never helps anyone. But if it gets you to take action, then we can say it is helpful. But you have to do things to help yourself relax. You have to find some times in your schedule to actually take some time for yourself. Learn Transcendental Meditation, for example, or practice a meditation that you find to be effective for you, but do it regularly. Do it on a daily basis at least, so that your body is getting that deep rest and deep relaxation on a regular schedule. Secondly, if you're stressing your body with smoking, or you're drinking too much, or taking other chemicals into your body that you don't need to, obviously, you want to stop that. Thirdly, Yoga can be very relaxing, and certain poses can actually help the blood flow to the uterus and help rebalance a woman's reproductive tract. Thirdly, you might want to try massage. Studies yet are forthcoming, but at least one fertility expert is studying massage now because he feels, based on his clinical experience, that this can have a very profound effect and really help women to get pregnant. Now, I've had the same experience with my patients who do Ayurvedic massage, either self-massage they can do at home, or they go to a clinic and they, and they partake of treatments that Ayurveda traditionally gives men and women before conception to both purify their physiology and to calm and relax it to promote balanced hormone function. That's called Panchakarma. Acupuncture also has been shown to help fertility, even during IVF, before and after the embryo was transferred, that those women who got acupuncture implanted almost twice as much as those that didn't do it. So we see that our whole body's stress level and our whole body balance is really important in fertility. Ayurveda says, that this is balance of vata. Vata governs our nervous system, our brain, and our hormonal system. And to balance that, we need a regular routine, good sleep, reduction of stress, or a managing stress in an effective way, such as meditation or yoga. And even herbs can be helpful. And Ayurveda traditionally recommends two herbs that can be taken especially by the woman, ashwagandha, which is said to balance the vata, the neuroendocrine system, and research indeed shows that it has a powerful effect on lowering and balancing cortisol. And secondly, another herb, especially good for women, called shatavari. Shatavari means actually a hundred husbands, and it's supposed to really help a woman's fertility, 
And research on it shows that it's a, a, a potent phytoestrogen and can support balance in a woman's hormonal levels. So in summary, if you're having difficulty or you just want to promote the most optimal fertility and the healthiest baby, look to your stress reduction, eat a very pure diet, drink lots of water, and to um, try the ashwagandha and shatavri if you want some herbal help for that. And remember, avoid the toxicity and try to stay out from under excess stress. So I wish you the best of luck in getting pregnant as soon as you can and having a very healthy pregnancy and a beautiful, blissful baby.